When I decided to go along on this mission trip to Pine Ridge, I didn't really know what to expect. Questions ran through my head like, what will the town be like? What will the people be like? Or what will we eat for a week? But that question really concerned me. But as soon as we arrived, my nervousness and questions all of a sudden left me. I didn't really care about everything, how everything was going to end up, because I knew that I was there for one reason, and that was to help this community as much as I could in one week. The first day we were able to go out into the community to help fix up the house. As we were driving through to get to the house, I noticed only about two people outside. The town almost looked abandoned. We worked all week fixing up the house, and afterwards it felt amazing, knowing that not only I, but everyone else had come together to help a family who was less fortunate than us. The next day was my favorite day. It was Kids Club Day. Kids from the community gathered to the place we were staying for activities. Kids had the biggest hearts and the biggest imaginations. This was a time, though, that really opened up my eyes. These kids would come with clothes that would hardly fit their bodies and had stories that would just break your heart. But yet, they were the most high-spirited children ever, and they just wanted one thing, and that was love. We read books, played hopscotch, made hats, and played ball with the kids. They were so engaged in whatever activity we were doing. After spending a couple days with the kids, it made it that much harder to say goodbye because we all became so attached to the love and the kid, that the kids gave to us and one another. It was really hard to say goodbye to those kids because I was going back to a life not nearly as hard as theirs. This trip made me realize that even the small things can help and is appreciated. And that just because some people don't have everything doesn't mean that they can't be the kindest people. I also learned that I should never complain about having a bad day because there are many, many more things in life that are ten times worse. Thank you, Trinity, for giving me such an amazing opportunity. Jake Erickson and Robbie Morrison. Good morning. My name is Jacob. My name is Robbie. And we will be talking about a few of the general things that our group did, either on our way up there or when we got to the reservation. One of the first things that we did when we entered South Dakota was go to the Waldrop. <laughs> Waldrop is pretty much a huge souvenir shop that pretty much had everything that you could possibly think of. Like shirts, hats, keychains, even bowling whips. <laughs> then we got to go and visit Mount Rush Farm, where we had the chance to walk around, buy souvenirs, and watch a movie that was educational. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 